Alright, so this is part 4 of my full customization tutorial for the HTC My Touch 4G. And in this part, I'll be explaining how to install a custom theme onto your phone and onto the CyanogenMod ROM. So, I'm going to direct you to this website. I'll put it in the video description. It's DJ Dark Knight, and he has some pretty cool themes. He or she. Pretty sure it's a he. But, anyways. You want to go down to the download links, and I just selected the normal one. You can scroll down and see which one you like. So, actually, I kind of want to try out the other ones. This looks kind of nice. Let's try this one. Alright, so we can download that. And then while that's downloading, you can go ahead and plug your phone into the computer. Alright, and then you want to go to the status bar. And then click on this USB connected. And then click on turn on USB storage. Say OK. Alright. So then, a window will pop up on your computer, and you can go ahead and open the folder to view the files, because we'll be dragging and dropping. So we can open this, go up, and then... Let's go back to removable disk D and then drag and drop this. And then just drag it up here. And then it'll automatically transfer to the root of your external SD card, which is what we want. Alright, and then once that's done, go back to your phone, and then turn it off. Unplug the phone. Alright, so now we're going to go back into recovery mode. And since in part 3 I showed you how to get it get into recovery mode through the H-boot, which is turning off your phone and holding the power and volume down buttons. Now, what we can do is go to Applications, go to ROM Manager. This is the second way to get your phone into recovery mode. Say OK, and reboot into recovery. And you want to make sure, again, that Clockwork Mod Recovery is installed. It should be installed if you followed part 3 of the tutorial, but just making sure. So we reboot into recovery. Say OK. And allow. Alright. So now that you're in. Let's go to install zip from SD card, and then you want to select that, and then say choose zip from SD card, and then just press the up button, and it'll get you all the way down here, and you want to scroll up to the theme file, which in this case is the dark froyo the one with the circle battery so then you can go ahead and use a trackpad and select that and then scroll all the way down to yes and trackpad again now it's really important that you install the theme after you install the rom which is what we're doing if you follow the tutorial because if you try and install everything at once then you'll go into a boot loop because I tried that from experience. So 
yeah, just do that. And then we'll go back and then reboot the system now. And then you'll notice that nothing will happen. And again, that's normal. So we go down to the battery. And then remove it. Put it back in. And now we can power it on like so. And you want to wait for it to reboot. And you'll already notice that the boot animation is different from the original Cyanogen mod one. It's pretty cool. Alright, so there you go. Look at the lock screen. And take a look at your new launcher. Or new newly themed launcher and phone. Look at the status bar. It's pretty sweet. And Dark Froyo. And that's your battery. Yay. It's the one that you see in the picture. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and continue to rate, comment, and subscribe if you do. And I'll catch you guys later in the next video review or tutorial.